the confidence for us right now is high. You know, this is a big game for us. Uh, we needed it, especially after, you know, they they pounded us at their place two uh, two games in a row. And uh, for us to come back and respond the way we did, you know, I'm proud of this team. I'm proud of the guys and uh, exactly what we needed. That is right. He is back. Courtney Cox here at the Garden as the Celtics take down the Bucks 92 to 87 in game five. Marcus Smart entering the game, finishing the game with nine points. It was an emotional night when he took the court. He got a nice standing O from the crowd. Terry Rozier and Eric Bledsoe continued their saga with a few scuffles. And after the game, everybody talked about how emotions run high during the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, that, no question. No question. It's, it's why you can't, like, you can look at stat sheets all you want with Marcus. It just doesn't tell the story. It's, it's his energy. It's his emotion. It's his, the little plays that, um, you know, turn out to be game-changing plays like diving on the floor and flipping it to Al. Um, the blocks, you know, coming over when Shabazz Muhammad was really rolling and going up vertically and challenging his shot and making him miss. Like, those are huge plays. And I just walked up to Terry and told him, you're really important to us. So that's, that's all I told him. Um, and uh, And then, you know, other than that, you know, I do want him to play with a chip, and I do want him to play aggressive. We just need him on the court. So, um, yeah, you know, it's uh, emotions are running high. You know, game five, both teams are really going for it. And um, you know, for our group, the biggest thing is just to, you know, focus on basketball, keep playing, um, and not getting caught up in all those side stuff. Uh, and uh, you know, I felt like we just will willed our way there. Um, we had some really good looks that didn't fall, and, um, but, but I felt like we got stops when we needed to. Now Brad Stevens also talked about Al Horford after the game, about moving him from that four spot to the five. Al ended the game leading the Celtics with 22 points and 14 rebounds, the most rebounds he's ever had in a playoff game as a Celtic. Now the Celtics hit the road to Milwaukee for game six. That takes place on Thursday night. Keep it locked in on Nesson.com. We will have all your coverage.